Our first speaker for the speeches before the march, our first speaker is Amanda Richards, whom you all know from Speak. So please welcome Amanda. Well, it's really great to see you all here today. But the question is, why are we here? I know that I'm here because I know that somewhere in this country there are animals convulsing and dying on the bottom of their cage floor. Because I know that somewhere in this country there are animals scared, huddled together, unable to understand why their lives are a living hell. Today is our opportunity to let the government know that there are people who are sick and tired of them letting the animals down. Today is our opportunity to let the government know that there are people, us, who are prepared to stand up and fight against the atrocities that happen inside the laboratories. Now the government, the media, the pharmaceutical companies, and all the institutions, organizations, and universities that experiment on animals take every opportunity to marginalize those of us who fight against it. They label us as loonies and extremists. They try to make compassion, decency, and morals something to be ashamed of. Well, what I'm ashamed of is this government allowing, supporting, and funding the barbaric experiments that happen in the, in the laboratories in this country. Don't forget it's because of this government that Oxford University were able to complete and open their new animal torture lab because they made damn sure that would happen. Don't forget it's because of this government that Huntington Life Sciences is still operating because they bent all the rules and the regulations. Now we know that the suffering that animal experiments cause for animals is astronomical to sentient living, feeling creatures that can suffer both physically and psychologically. The things that the experimenters do to the animals would be considered torture if it was done to people. But they say it's okay because animals are worth less than people, because they are disposable. But if we look throughout history, abuses have happened time and time again to those that were considered as not as important or different than those in power. Bullies and opportunists have always picked on those who are unable to defend themselves whilst trying to justify it. But there is no justification for deliberate torture or for the abuses on non-consenting individuals. They say that they're constantly trying to improve the conditions inside the lab to try and improve the lives of the animals. Well, I'm sorry, but those regulations, those welfare laws and those improvements mean nothing to the animals as they lie in agony and bleeding to death. The animal welfare laws have been around in this country for a long time, and yet we are doing more horrific things to more animals than ever before. The animal welfare laws are largely meaningless because animals are seen as nothing but property. They are seen as nothing but economic commodities with no more value than what we accord them and with no more rights than a piece of furniture. That is why we must all fight for the rights of animals not to be tortured, not to be abused, and not to be discarded like disposable pieces of commodity. Someone once said, I am here to fight not until every cage is comfortable, but until every cage is empty. And I hope that everyone here feels the same. Does that make us loonies? Does that make us extremists? No, I don't think so. I think that just makes us people that give a damn. So let's continue to give a damn. And over this next year, let's do whatever we can to help the animals in laboratories. Because if you were in those labs, if you were being burnt, scalded, electrocuted, 
having the top of your head sliced off and electrodes forced into your brain. Then you'd want people to be doing everything they could to get you out of there. The animals deserve no less. When we start the march, we're turning the right along the, along the perimeter of the park. Go slow, we don't need to go fast. We only get this opportunity to march through London once a year, so take your time. As I said before, if you want to leaflet, there are some leaflets on the table over there, but you won't be coming on the march itself. You'll be the other side of the cordon, so if you want to leaflet, go and get some leaflets now. If you're on the march itself, then what you need are drums, whistles, placards. There are some placards on the grass, make sure you take the placards. There are some whistles on the table behind us. We've got four big drums here. If anyone wants to come and do some drumming, we can do with some drummers. We have some volunteers for drumming. Uh, for those who are uh, a bit tired, uh, there'll be a minibus at the back of the march. Um, for, for the people who are old or disabled, then you f feel free to use the minibus if, if it's a bit too much for you today. Make sure you take all your litter with you. Let's leave this path as, as even better than when we found it. Remember, we want people to leave a good, to leave a good impression of ourselves. Alright, so let's have a good march and we've got more speeches and lots of food at the end. We've got three different vegan caterers at the end. But don't go too fast. We'll still be there waiting by the time we get there. Okay, let's march. Let's make ourselves hard for the animals.